In this video, I'm going to show you four easy ways to resize your images on your iPhone or iPad. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and for many years now, taking photos with iPhones is what many people have chosen over traditional cameras because of the high quality images these little devices can produce. But high quality comes with large file sizes which will eventually eat up the storage space on your device. Now what we can do in this case is reduce the file sizes by compressing them or converting the images into a different file format. So let's begin with number one. Reduce the size before taking the picture. A great and conscious way to keep your images in a smaller size but without losing quality is to choose a file format that has a better compression rate. The solution in this case is to be found in the camera settings on your iPhone where you can choose the file format to be HEIC instead of JPG. Go to settings, camera, tap on format, and choose high efficiency. Between the two choices, high efficiency will have your images in AGIC. AGIC is the short version of high efficiency image file format, while most compatible will have your images in JPG, which is more usable across the platforms. But when it comes to uploading photos to social media platforms, which what people usually do with the photos on their phones, in usability, there will be no differences. Number two, reduce file size with the mail app. When it comes to sending images via email, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger and so on, these applications and these methods will always reduce the file size of your image. So if you don't want to install a third-party software but you want an easy and actually tricky way to reduce the size of your image, just send them to yourself via email. Start writing an email to yourself. You don't have to worry about sending a message as well, but just attach the photos you want to reduce the sizes of and send it to yourself. It will ask whether you want to send the images in their actual size or in one of the smaller versions of it. And as you can see here, even between actual size and large, there is a huge difference. So just choose whichever one you prefer. And when you receive the email, just download the images and voila, you will have your photos in a smaller file size, but without losing quality. Number three, resize images with shortcuts iOS has these applications called shortcuts that not many people use, I feel like, including me. But the thing is that shortcuts is a really cool application and it has features that you wouldn't even think of, such as resizing images. Although you have to spend a few minutes to set it up first, but after that it works like a wonder. First of all, go to the shortcuts app, tap on the plus icon in the upper right corner and then add action. Within the categories, choose media and the first action you need to add here is get images from input. Then go back to media and choose resize image. You can see how it made the connection between the two. You can set it up as you want. For now, I'll just leave it as it is. And here you can add a convert image action, which will convert your AGIC images to, for example, JPEG or whatever else you choose. And with the toggle bar here, you can also set the quality. And then the final action you have to add is save to photo album. Choose which album you want to save the converted photos to. If you tap on the info button down here and turn on show in share sheet, it will appear when you tap on the share icon. And then up here, you can give it a name. So let's review what's gonna happen when you use this shortcut. It will take your image, resize it, convert it to JPG, and then save it to your chosen folder. And there you go, you have your image resized and converted with just one tap. Number four, resizing with Wondershare Uniconverter. If you're looking to batch convert and resize images professionally, then the Wondershare Uniconverter is a perfect tool. With the Uniconverter, you can resize, crop, convert your images while adding effects to them at the same time. 
Let's see how it works. Open the Unit Converter. On the left side of the interface, go to the Tools menu and from here select the Image Converter. Import your image or images. In the upper right corner, select an output format for all the images and by clicking on the settings icon here, you can set up an output aspect ratio as well as a resize quality. But if you want to set them up one by one, by hovering your cursor over the image thumbnail, you can also make individual cropping settings to the photos alongside the effects. When you're done with the settings, select an output folder and then click on convert all. And there you go, those are four easy and fast ways to resize and convert your images on your iPhone or iPads. Pick whichever method you want, try it and then tell us about your experience in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos. But that's it for today, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.